School districts are starting the school year with beefed up security after what happened last year at Sandy Hook. Enfield has taken some big steps. They will now have 18 armed guards patrolling their schools. And tonight, those guards met some of the kids and their parents. News Ace Bob Wilson live in Hartford with that. Bob? They did meet some of the kids, some of the parents, and some opposition. Well, it's kind of split. A lot of the parents are glad. They say we need to do everything we can. This is just another layer of security. Other parents are fighting to get them out. When Sandy Hook happened, I heard it. I was sad. And at least for a few days, I was scared about what was going to happen. Trevor is glad Enfield is hiring 18 new school security officers. They were on hand tonight at the high school so that parents and students could meet them before they start school next Tuesday. Many of them worked in detective divisions uh, investigating crimes against children. Some started uh, SRO programs, DARE programs, gang units in their towns. So they spent 20, 25, and 30 years in some cases. The chief says by state law, they all have to be retired law enforcement. So he takes personal offense when parents call the men and women rent-a-cops. That's offensive. Like I said, if you were to add up their law enforcement experience, it's 460 years collectively. Now, just to give you an idea between the two, this is an Enfield police officer, and this is one of the new security officers. The officers are dressed in uniform. They have their gun belt, including handcuffs, tasers, all the typical tools. But for the security officer, they'll be wearing khakis and an identifiable polo shirt, and they'll have a gun on their hip. That's all. They won't have arrest powers, but they will have a radio to call the police at a moment's notice. All we're going to try to do, if there's a threat, an immediate threat, we're going to try to uh, eliminate or slow down that threat until the real people, the real heroes, the men and women and the cruisers get here to help us resolve it. Cliff Leonard is a retired deputy chief in East Hartford. His resume includes helping to start the gang unit and community policing programs in that town. Many parents showed up tonight to meet the new security officers and love the program. There's cops at the high schools, at the junior high schools. My daughter's in elementary school. There's nobody there to protect her. But there are many others who say that guns, even in the right hands, are not the answer. Some families, like town councilman Tom Arnoe, are split. So it's been a really difficult decision. My wife is actually against it also. So, And I did vote for, for this on the recommendation of our, our police chief and the recommendation of the safety committee. And Chief Straza wants to make sure to point out that all of those newly hired security guards have been through intense training. They've all been screened by doctors, mentally screened. They have passed a lot of tests, and they are ready to go. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.